very important questions now about the public cloud. You know, how does SOC 2 apply to the public cloud and how can we meet the SOC 2 requirements in the cloud? So, yes, the SOC 2 obviously absolutely applies to the cloud. So, if you are using cloud based vendors or applications or cloud hosting, hopefully those cloud based vendors and applications and hosting services have their own SOC 2 report that you and your auditors are reviewing as part of your vendor risk management process. But as we all know, even if your entire system is in the cloud, that cloud provider, that hosting provider, whether it's Google or AWS or Azure, they all have specific controls that are the responsibility of the user. So just because your system is hosted on Google Cloud Services does not mean your responsibility for your data is completely abdicated to Google. There's a lot of controls that you are responsible for as a user of Google Cloud Platform, and that applies to all the cloud platforms. And so your customers want to know, are you handling your portion of the cloud responsibly? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, even if you're using a cloud vendor, you should be getting their SOC reports, and then you still need a SOC report to attest to how you're handling your person, portion of those controls. That's really helpful. I think that uh, also answers the next question uh, in part where we said, if our cloud service provider is SOC2 certified, as a SaaS vendor, do I still need a separate SOC2 certificate? And I think you said clearly you do for your part um, of managing the customer data. They need it for their share and you need it for your uh, contribution in the whole process. For more information, click on the link below or visit databrackets.com.